Okay, so now we're ready to put in the photos that represent each one of these labels. If you'd like to, you can go up to View, Screen Mode, and choose Preview. And what that does is it um, doesn't show you all the lines, so you get a better view of what it actually looks like without all those guidelines. So if you ever need to do that, it's View, Screen Mode, Normal, shows all your guides and everything. View, Screen Mode, Preview, shows just um, what your actual document looks like. The other thing that up in view that you might need to use sometimes is display performance. If you keep it on high quality display, you're better off. If you have it on one of these other ones, your pictures will look like pixelated and not, not a good resolution. So I would recommend always having display performance on high quality display. Now, especially since we're putting photos in here, it really does make a difference. All right, so speaking of the photos, let's go and get them. If you go to the uh, slides that I made you, I gave you links to all the photos that you are going to copy in to each one of these squares. So for instance, if you click on this, it will give you the photo. I've already opened all these up, so I'm going to go ahead and open them from here. Now when you get the photo, if you right click on it and go to Copy Image, then go to your InDesign document, and press paste, control V, and it makes it huge. It fills up your whole page. I'm gonna show you how to easily make that smaller. If you go over here to properties at the top where it says transform, make sure that this is locked. See that lock there? It says constrain proportions. If you don't click that, your photo is gonna get warped. So make sure that this is clicked, constrain proportions. And then what I want you to do is just make the width 200 and that will make it, it will come up here in the corner so you need to go look for it if you don't see it right away. And then just move it down here in place. Now when you do, it's you'll see that it made the window only be 200 pixels wide but the picture inside the window is still huge. So if you go over here again to properties and see where it says frame fitting if you pick the third one that says fit content to frame, if you click on that, boom, it makes it fit in there perfectly. All right, so let's do that again. Let's go up here to Pixabay. I'm gonna close that one, I don't need any more. And this is the photo link that I gave you for color and contrast. So you're gonna right click on that, copy image, go over here to um, InDesign and do paste, control V, and then let's transform it. I'm going to show you, instead of having this top left point clicked, I think if you click it on center, it won't move off the page. So let's go ahead and do that. So click that center box, and then go over here and make it 200. There you go. And now it stays here instead of going off the window where you don't see it. And then again, let's go to frame fitting and click the third box, which is fit content to frame. And then you can just drag it and move it into your uh, square. You can use the arrow keys to move it around too. All right, let's go get the photo for spacing and alignment. So I'm gonna go over here to Pixabay. I've already opened up all these links, so don't forget the links that I gave you, they're all in here in this document. I just had them open before I started the video. So I'm gonna right click on this one, copy, Go over here to InDesign, press paste, and I'm going to scale it so that it's 200 pixels. And I need to frame fit it so that it fits in the frame. There is another area where you can do frame fitting, and in one of the assignments I have coming up, I told you to go to Object and do the fitting over here. So you can do it there, but I also like just using the Properties tab. You can do an awful lot without going into the menus by using Properties. So it's just up to you which way you want to do it. All right, let's copy this. Right click, copy image, paste, make it 200 pixels, and then go to Frame Fitting and click on the third box. Don't forget the space bar. If you press that, it gives you a hand, so it lets you move your document around. Control plus zooms in, and Control minus zooms out. All right, let's get our photo for leading lines, which is this one. Copy, paste, 
scale to 200, fit in frame, and then drag it in spot. Rule of thirds, we'll go and get that photo. Copy, paste, 200, fit in frame, and one more. Negative space, copy, paste, scale to 200, fit in frame. All right, so in any of the other assignments that are coming up, if you need to scale anything or fit in frame, just remember that when you have a picture selected, you can edit everything over here just like you can from the menu and just like you can from this control bar too. So they actually have everything in a lot of different spots that do the same thing. All right, so the last thing you need to do before you save it is just type your name. So I'm going to put my name down here in the bottom corner and then do save. And then do export because export is what you need to make a JPEG and the JPEG is what you need to put in your Google slide to get graded. So leave this um, just on this one page quality medium resolution 72 pixels per inch and I'll make a screenshot of this and say export and that's what you put on your Google slide portfolio for a grade.